Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week two of our PGL matches. This is going to be against the Boston Silk Scarfs and Grizzlock. He's a super cool dude. Go check him out. But yeah, you guys can see the kind of team he has drafted. There were a bunch of Ubers allowed, so he does have the Aegis last year. However, going into this match, I was a little bit flustered. I did realize uh, shortly before the match that my Zygarde was completely misgen. I put all the EVs that were meant for attack into special attack. So it's just completely misgen. Hopefully I can maybe get a Dragon Dance up do something or bluff with it successfully but uh it's going to be pretty useless it doesn't end up mattering too much but i was kind of flustered and my jirachi set was really bad so this is gonna be my first time watching this since we battled i'm pretty curious just to react as well i don't actually remember what i led now that i think about it i might have led jirachi I'm, I'm really curious to see if i led jirachi but uh he leads off with the greninja now i do lead jirachi okay so this Jirachi, like I said, is a bad set. I don't even quite even remember what the set is. I don't even have the U-turn. I just hard switch out here. It's a bad set, you guys. I don't even remember what it is. I don't even have like Ice Punch for the Dragonite. It's a bad. It's really, really bad. But I go out into uh, the Umbreon. I take a U-turn. It does a decent amount of damage. And he gets free switch into this Tentacruel, right? And... I believe he just um, tries to toxic me. I'm not too concerned about that. I do have the heal bell uh, for later in the match. The only thing that I'm concerned with is throwing up a wish, trying to get a free switch into something next turn, and trying to put myself in an okay position right now. And uh, I was debating what to switch into, what to try to pass the wish into, try to get the free wish off. He read that for that free switch so i think he tried to make a fairly aggressive switch instead of just trying to guess and uh with an attack but um i end up trying to go into this eye guard because i'm thinking okay if i get a free switch in i can dragon dance up i could try to do something here now uh, he goes into the table i'm not really sure at all if he knew that the eye guard was coming in because uh i believe he double switches right now and i uh, I assume that he was just going to Moonblast me for damage. So I go in, into Jirachi. Um, I wasn't... Yeah, I mean, he goes into that pout on here, and... Okay, so that's when I start to think. The Clefable, I guess, is not... It can counter the Zygarde, but he really wants this thing to be the dedicated counter to Zygarde. But also, he just wants to get his rocks up. Um, I think I have rocks on this Jirachi, but... Which is dumb of me. I shouldn't have wasted the slot, in all honesty. Um, I guess it helped for the Dragonite, but... Uh, I just leave out rocks, and he Earthquakes me. Does a huge chunk of damage. I honestly assumed that it would do, like, just about half, maybe. It does a bit more than I wanted to. I'm lower than I should be, and especially if I try to switch back in on rocks. It's just, um... Not a good time for Jirachi. Again, I don't even have Ice Punch on this thing. Not to say it would have done a whole lot. But, um, yeah, I didn't even mention. Not even a Sand uh, Stream Hip Hat on. I, I believe it's only other ability is Sand Force. But I just go into the uh, Delmise, try to eat up a hit. And here's where, here's where things start to, like, happen in my head, right? So, I kind of think that he might think that I want a Power Whip here. I also think he might think that I want a Rapid Spin, right? Here, in fact, I'm going to pause it right here. My thinking is that he's going to assume that I either want a Rapid Spin or I want to Power Whip. Even just to counter the Delmise in general, my thinking was that his switch in is going to be the Aegislash. I see no reason why I shouldn't have switched into Aegislash. And in fact, we were talking about the battle after we had it. And he was saying that, yeah, Aegislash would have probably been the best uh, switch in that situation. But again, in my head, I am super convinced that the Aegislash is going to come in. And I desperately wanted to make a play here and catch the incoming Aegislash. With all that in mind, so he ends up switching out as i go for the shadow plot like i said i'm just trying to catch aegis slash i'm trying to um cripple it for, for later right and this thing comes in i shadow claw for damage and again okay so right now i'm thinking now there's leftovers okay that was pretty dumb of me i guess but right now what i'm thinking is he is 100 gonna be supersonic sky strike i have to be afraid of that so i switch out and I gave him the freest of Dragon Dances. If I just stayed in and Shadow Clawed again, he would have at least been in range where um, even my messed up Zygarde could have um, extreme speeded. And we could have worn this thing down over time. 
but as it is, he's getting healthier and has a dragon dance up. And at this point, I just kind of have to think that my Umbreon can take a hit. I didn't do a cow, but again, I'm super as I'm pretty much as defensive as an Umbreon can be. And um, we just have to try and take this outrage, and we don't. We don't take the outrage. So right there is um, and kind of where the snowball starts. And like I said, the worst thing about it is that he's just getting healthier. And I had a free uh, extra like 30% that I could have done just from a Shadow Claw, just from an aggressive Shadow Claw. And I don't know, man. Now you can see my Jirachi's way too weak to take anything, even though it was my best switch. I actually forgot how how weakened it was, and that's why I thought like it was the proper switch in that situation. But uh, it super was not. I think um, I think even like 20 more percent we would have like take like 15, 20 more percent on that, and we would have taken it. But again, with every attack, he's just taking down a mod and getting healthier. As my Delmize comes back in, this is also reasonably defensive. And he is able to go for an Outrage again. And Outrage just destroys me. <laughs> like, I don't... Like, I'm at a loss at this point, right? Now, something kind of interesting is about to happen, I believe. Um, yeah, I go into my Embor, right? It's a Scarfed Embor. And he told me that he only had enough speed to outspeed, like, a Mega Alagazam at plus one. Oh, I go for the Endeavor because I was so certain that he would be faster than me, he would attack me, I would, I would take it, and I'd be able to get an Endeavor, even though I'm Scarfed, right? But, he told me that he had enough speed to outspeed, um, Mega Zam at plus one, but I know that can't be true, because if, um, if my Roadhog outspeeds, then I'm pretty positive that my Roadhog isn't able to outspeed Mega Zam, I don't know. I don't quite know what happened there, but, uh, something bad happened. Something bad happened, and I'm scarfed in Endeavor, so I don't know. I just switch out. I probably should have just stayed in, try to go for an Endeavor there at some point, and then go for the extreme speed. But yeah, at this point, I could have flare blitzed, and and at this point, it's becoming clear. Oh, if I'd gotten that other Shadow Claw off, I could have um, gotten some damage off with 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 the uh, Roadhog flare blitz. I could have fit cleaned up with extreme speed, something like that. But, um, yeah, nothing like that happened. I made a switch just, be, just so we had to switch moves. I made a switch into, um, into my Zygarde, but it just gets eaten up by an Outrage. And now in comes my Halucha, which of course can outspeed after a burden. But I have a Citrus Berry, which obviously never gets to pop because the Outrage just tears through me at this point. And, um, is that it? Do I have another one? Oh, yeah, no. Just my Roadhog left. I'm gonna be a bit of Flare Blitz, but at this point, it is far, far, far too late. And, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, a couple weird misplays, but, uh, his speed stat is really weird. I still don't quite understand what was up with his speed stat, but, um, somehow at Embor outspeeds. It doesn't really matter. We just straight up get six foot by Dragonite, right? Which is insane on its own. But also just um, part of it's my own fault for just uh, not being as aggressive as I should have been. Part of it, um, part of it, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, be a little bit easy on myself for just because. I really did think that Aegis Slash was coming in, guys. That was that, that in my head was a 50-50 that I that I got wrong and it kind of snowballed from there. I should have probably played it a little bit safer and I should have just held my ground. I should have noticed the I should have noticed the leftovers on that Dragonite and stayed my ground and not fear the Supersonic Sky Strike. But instead I gave it the freest of Dragon Dances. So those were two just huge mistakes. After which our team was already well, well weak enough just to fall to this Dragonite on its own. But either way, GT to Krizla. And his boss and sell scarves. Regardless, it was a lot of fun. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.